Uh, for more than 100 years, the American Cancer Society has worked relentlessly to save lives and create a world with less cancer and more birthdays. Yeah, and together with millions of our supporters worldwide, we help people, st they help people stay well, help people get well, find cures, and fight back against cancer. And this Friday, it's their annual event, Relay for Life, and it's gonna be taking place uh, here in Albuquerque. Mm -hmm. So take a look at what you can expect. That's a pretty powerful word, huh? Julie, I hope I didn't look that lost, did I? No, not at all. I'm one of the Relay committee members, and we, we really try to meet as many people at the event as we can. This is my second time at Relay. I was just looking a bit worried, thinking about when my mom was diagnosed with colon cancer. It seemed like that was all we had to hang on to. When my dad was diagnosed with prostate cancer, we held on to hope every day and I didn't realize how much I was going to need Relay to help me get through the experience of losing my father. I'm so glad somebody asked me to come here years ago and I'm really glad you're here too. Thanks. So uh, whose team are you on? Margaret Smarchers in honor of my mom. <laughs> awesome. We have a really great group of friends with us. It's just it's so amazing to me how many people are here, how much this means to everyone. How did you guys get this many people to come out? We just asked people. What did you actually say to them to get them to come and form the teams and raise funds and everything? I mean, it's incredible. We just told as many people as we could the Relay story. The one about how they're fighting cancer and providing hope? <laughs> there is so much more to the story than that. Oh yeah? How so? Relay started back in 1985 with just one guy. One guy? Yeah. Dr. Gordy Clatt. He wanted to show what someone fighting cancer endures, so he proved it by running around a track for 24 hours, and he raised $27,000 that first year. I can't imagine doing something like that. That's quite impressive. Neither did Gordy. Believe it or not, next year, one of his patients, Pat Flynn, joined Gordy, and they structured a team-based relay event and they combine the strength of families and friends to raise awareness and funds for the fight against cancer. Wow, it's pretty impressive how just a couple of people can create something so amazing. Well, Relay keeps becoming even more impressive. Over the last 27 years, ACS and their volunteers and staff have made this the largest not-for-profit activity in the world. So how many people are participating in Relay now? Over 4 million people will participate in Relay for Life in 2012. Mm -hmm. And 5,200 relays in the United States and approximately another 1,000 in 20 other countries. Relay is growing every year. It is really becoming a global movement. Well, if we're going to save more lives faster, every one of us has to work to involve as many people as we can and raise as much money as we can to support the American Cancer Society. And we need to support their research their outreach programs, their education, their community services and support. We don't apologize for our, what we call our passionate aggression <laughs> to end this disease. We, we ask others to join Relay, to make contributions to the American Cancer Society, and, and we need people like you. <laughs> and you. We're fighting to save more lives faster. That's how you got all these people here? You just told them the story and asked them to come? Yeah and we made sure they knew the Relay story so they could ask someone to join them. What a great thing. The American Cancer Society Relay for Life movement symbolizes hope and our shared goal to end a disease that threatens the lives of so many people that we love. Yeah, and if cancer has touched your life, participating in a Relay for Life event is a, always a good way to take action and help finish uh, that fight. And joining us now this morning, we have Doreen Conley from the American Cancer Society, along with Deputy Gerald Torres. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank, Thank you. you. So as we're seeing this, this is a 24-hour event where you basically work as a team and you walk to raise awareness. Is that right? That's what Relay for Life is all about. Is that right? Yes, basically, uh, like you said, uh, one team member walks around the track uh, and you carry that out throughout the night mm -hmm. to symbolize that uh, cancer doesn't sleep, so neither mm -hmm. will we right. until we find a cure. That's Fantastic. great. Okay, so, so what can people expect when they head out to the Relay for Life event? 
Relay for Life is really a great family event. It brings together people from the community. Uh, there are uh, opening ceremonies. There's a beautiful survivor walk so that all the survivors at the event are noticed and recognized. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're celebrated. And then there's activities through the night. Uh, each relay is different and unique to its community. Sure. Yeah. So the community members really decide what will happen throughout the night. Uh, and then a big closing ceremony the following morning. It's just a joyous celebratory event mm -hmm. uh, and great for people touched by cancer. Yeah, Absolutely. and there are so many people. I mean, unfortunately, a few years back, I lost my aunt to colon cancer, and mm -hmm. it, it was devastating for the family. And so this seems like a really good proactive way that people can get out, they can do something, raise awareness, and, mm -hmm. and really be part of a larger collective movement. That's so right. if someone out there wants to get involved, they're either a survivor, they're a family member, uh, they've been touched, how do they go about getting involved? How do they sign their team up and get ready for the walk? They can go online to the website, or they can come out to the event and join us at La Cueva High School this okay. Friday evening. And we have a sign-up table or a registration booth where they can go in and sign up and join at the event. Okay. And it's a year-long year fundraising event, so wow. if they can't make it out this weekend, mm -hmm. um, they can still get, go online and get some information from the website and still uh, donate money throughout the year. Okay, so if you can't do the walk this mm -hmm. weekend, you can you can still fight the good fight That's throughout right. the year. Correct. That's, That's right. Fantastic. And you said this Friday at La Cueva High School. Yes. For all of you guys who have uh, don't have plans this weekend, it's definitely a great cause to get out and join them. But thank you guys so much for coming in. Great cause. I know I've been involved in Really <laughs> for Life before, and I had a fantastic yeah. time. Uh, so coming from me, I know personally it's fantastic. Yeah. Um, but if you want some more information, um, you can head to our website, casa.com, and click on the Style tab, and that'll kind of redirect you on how you can get involved with that. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you guys for coming thank in. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you very right. much. Well,